Let's dive into the blue button jelly. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do. And make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. The blue button jelly, or in scientific names, Porpita porpita is not a jellyfish, but a colony of organisms called a hydroid, like the Portuguese man of war, which is also a siphonophore. If you can remember, the man of war is made out of individual animals called zoids, which each have a specific function for the colony. These blue buttons get to around an inch in diameter, so they're not very large, but they are found floating on the surface by their gas filled apparatus in the middle of their bodies. This apparatus is referred to as a float, and it is also referred to as the animal's main body. The second part of the body is the hydroid colony that looks like the branching tentacles that you see here. These makeshift tentacles do have nematocysts on the ends of them, and if you don't know what a nematocyst is, it is a stinging cell. Jellyfish and other organisms like sea anemones have these as well. These cnidarians typically feed on small zooplankton, such as copepods or amphipods, and a common predator of the blue button jelly is sea slugs and some sea snails. These animals can be found in warmer waters in places such as the Gulf of Mexico or the Mediterranean Sea. They are hermaphrodites, which means they possess both male and female reproductive organs, which means that the polyps that are responsible for reproduction on the organism will release both sperm and eggs into the water column, which in turn fertilizes and results in larvae and eventually the formation of a single individual polyp. These creatures do pack a sting, and while it is not a dangerous one, they can still produce skin irritation when their nematocysts fire upon the brushing up against them by a human. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching. Also, thank you guys for 3K subs. I'm blown away by the fact that I made it this far, but I'm gonna continue this YouTube journey and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do.